The club will now work with the relevant authorities in New Zealand, the NRL Integrity Unit and the RLPA to investigate the incident thoroughly. This process will then guide our next steps. The club will make no further comment until the investigation is completed. A member of the public who was on flight NZ977 from Nuku Alifa said Terapo drank his own alcohol in the airport lounge before boarding. He then brought it onto the plane in a coffee cup and refused to hand it over to Air New Zealand staff, insisting he was allowed to drink his own alcohol on the flight, the eyewitness said. He threatened the air hostesses that his lawyer would be contacting them because they were wrong. He was loud and disruptive during the safety briefing and I was surprised I could hear myself think while he was yelling across the aisle to a mate. Loading, the flight manager asked him to stop drinking but he continued to do so, arguing with the manager, he was read out a warning, he continued to talk over the manager and was told that police authorities would meet him upon landing, he continued to drink his alcohol in his coffee cup and the manager had to snatch a larger spirit bottle from him, Terapo also acted inappropriately to a female flight attendant, the passenger said, who I really felt sorry for was the air hostess that sat across from him, from her body language I could tell she felt uncomfortable as he prompted her with questions like, what are you doing after all tonight, and, do you come to Parramatta, in his drunken state, Terapo fell asleep later in the flight and after the plane landed, he was escorted off it by two police officers. Both Air New Zealand and the police confirmed that an incident took place, but no charges were laid against the 27-year-old Terepo, who has played 101 games for the Eels. Two years ago was suspended by the Eels and fined $15,000, $15,500, for failing to inform the Eels that he had been convicted of careless driving in New Zealand. NRL off-field behavior eels